Hi everyone, so I'm going to be making a video on how we can use Playwright and use the dot only method so we could target just one unit test to be tested at a time. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to set up a Next.js project right here. And I'm just going to say no to all of these default questions here. So no, 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 no. And then I'll just drag and drop the folder over. Now I'm going to have to install Playwright. So I'm just going to use the following commands to install Playwright. So let me open up my terminal and I'm going to do npm init playwright at latest. And I'll make sure I select JavaScript because we're just going to use JavaScript for everything. And I'll just hit enter for end to end test folder just called test and then GitHub actions workflow false and this one uh, true as well. So I'm just leaving the last three as a default. The only thing I changed was the first one. I want to select JavaScript for the first option. And then I just want to make sure that this unit testing works. So I'll just run Playwright. And once, the, once I know those tests have been passed, I will then try showing the report and I'll see to make sure that we have all the green check marks. So now I'll just show the report. It says I passed six, so we're good. And here's the report. We could see here I got all the green check marks, so everything is working right now. And in case your um, playwright test do doesn't work, let's just do npm run dev. So once you run the server, if you're having issues with uh, the report um, after you run the server, then try running the report again and it should be okay. Or in, um, do npx, npx playwright test and then npx playwright show report and then that should do it. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to edit a few things here because I want to just be testing um, some areas. So let me just set up a default template for right now. I'm just going to delete everything in between the main. Got rid of that head tag. Get rid of this inter. Inter. And just all the stuff that is not needed for right now. I'm just going to make it really basic. Make a header. I'm going to add a h1 tag here and I'm going to say home page. And then I will also add a paragraph tag and I'll say studying. And I'm also going to add a link. So I'm going to import link at the top. And what I will be doing is I'll be linking to an about page that I will set up shortly. href equals to about. I'm just going to keep it like that for now. And I'm going to make an about page, about.js. And export default function about return. And I'll put header h1 about page. main footer. That is good. So I just want something really basic for right now. And what's going to happen is I'm going to go into my styles as well. Because I don't 
need all this extra stuff. I'm just going to make it an empty root. And the home.module.css. I will just delete everything under the main. Make that 20 view height. Something really simple for right now. And just to make sure that my site is running, I'm going to go to my local host. And we can see here, this is what my page looks like right now. It's really basic and simple. So what I want to do is I want to start writing my unit tests. So I will be going into test folder. And here we got example spec.js. I'm actually going to change this. Um, I'll just rename it and I'll name it to something more specific like home.spec.js. And I'm just going to delete all the stuff under this first line of code here. And then I'm just going to set up a few unit tests right here. I'll describe it after I type it all out. So I got the before each and the after each. So before each unit test or block of code runs, it's going to do a console log. And then after each test ends, I'm going to run this after each as well, which will just do another console log. So let me just set up a unit test for the header section. So what we have here is we have this test here for the header and I put it in a test.describe because it's one block of code, one chunk of code that we're going to be looking at. And before we begin running the test, we're going to set up a before each. And in the before each, it's going to help us navigate to the page we want to test for. And we're going to test for the home page, which is why we're going to localhost 3000. And then what's going to happen is we have these two tests here. So before each of these tests run, it's going to make sure it navigates to that home page. So we got the test. It's going to check first for an H1 tag. So async, await, we're going to wait until the page is ready. And then we're going to locate an H1 tag. And the H1 tag must have the text home page. So if I go to my test, if I go to my actual application, we could see here I got H1 tag and it says home page. And if I go back here, after this test has run, it's going to run this after each, so console log something. And then again, it's going to go to the before each, so then it will make sure it navigates back to the home page. And then it'll go to the next test. And for this test, it's going to look for a paragraph tag. So this is just notes for ourselves. We're going to be doing a paragraph tag test. And we're going to expect that some sort of text on the page will have the word studying with the exclamation mark and it has to be visible on the screen. So once this test is done, it's going to do the after each and just do the console log. So if we look at where this text is, it's looking for some sort of text called studying. On my home page, I got this paragraph tag and it says studying exclamation mark. So let's first run this unit test to see if it actually works. So I'm going to end that previous report doing control C and then just hit Y. And what I'll do is I'll do NPX play right test. Okay, so it looks like we passed all of them. It says six passed. There's no red, so it looks like we're okay. And now I'm going to show the report. And we could see right here, we got all the green check marks. So we're passing that H1 tag, the paragraph tag, and it's just checking for Chrome, Firefox, and WebKit. So it looks like everything is good to go so far. So let's do the next set of unit testing. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to test the navigation from the home page to the about page. So here I got the test in a test block called test describe. And 
it's gonna check for going to the about page. So we got our before each again, which will navigate to our home page. And then what's gonna do is we're gonna set up a test here. And what's gonna happen is we're gonna look for some sort of clickable text that is called about. And then what's gonna happen is when they click on it, is it's going to expect that the page will have a URL change, which will now have forward slash about at the end of it. And when it navigates to this new page, then it's gonna expect that on this new page, it will locate another H1 tag and it'll contain the text called about page. So if I go to my about.js, you'll see that we have a H1 and it says about page. So it does match the unit testing we have set up. Let me just run it to make sure that it works. So I'll do npx playwright test first. And then I'll do npx playwright show report. So I'm just running the report so I could see if everything has passed so far. And you can see here we got all the green check marks. It's checking for h1 tag, paragraph tag, and then linking to the about page. So it works so far. So now, because we have all these different tests that are set up, especially here where we have these two tests, let's say we only want to check for one of the tests within this test block. So instead of showing both of these tests at the same time, I could do a dot only, and what this is going to do is this is only going to test for this test block, and it's going to skip that test block no matter what happens. So we're only going to be checking our unit testing for this H1 tag. So let me save this, and I'm going to try running this report one more time here. So control C, and then I'm going to end that and I'm going to do npx playwright test. And then I'll do npx playwright show report. Now we can see compared to what we used to have before, we used to have three other unit tests that we were, or we had two other unit tests that it was testing for. Now you can see with the dot only that it's only gonna be checking for this one chunk of code that it's testing for, which is checking for the H1 tag. So this is great if you have maybe 50 or more or like many different unit tests and you just wanna focus on one unit test at a time, you could use that dot only method. So the dot only method will help target only one test at a time. So then you will not have to worry about all the unit tests all at once, and you can just focus on one particular area.